All right, Mr. Gibson, these last few moments. Thursday, game one. Yep. In the garden, Boston Celtics, Eastern Conference representative. That team from uh, other northern Texas. <laughs> Who you got? <sighs> I'll do it. Dallas and five. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm going to do it. Oh well, why 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 you say that? Because I I I um out of respect for Boston, I don't think they'll lose it. They'll they won't lose the title on their own court. So I'm not gonna have Dallas celebrating in the garden. But well. Dallas Dallas will win game two because Boston doesn't win game two in, in playoff series at home, except for what yeah, they just did. did against Indiana. Indiana, yeah, yeah. But yeah. outside of that. They lost game two to Miami. But they lost well, game two well. to Cleveland. They, they don't win game two. They're what, 18 and 17 in the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're spitting out facts. Yeah. Would you say who has it? Who, okay, no, I'll ask you. Who has the better starting five? Uh, without Porzingis? Either way. Okay. With and without. All right, without. Uh, Kyrie, Luca, PJ, Ivy. No, no, Gafford. Gafford. Okay, Gafford. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Gafford. So Derek, Derek Jones, Gafford, yeah, PJ. See, okay. Derek Jones. Notice who I didn't name. I, I purposely was like, I stopped because I was like, <laughs> that's yeah, I was on purpose. Um, man. Well, yeah. I mean, Drew, Jalen, Jason. Al, it's Boston. I got to because because of Derrick Jones. It's okay. Boston. <laughs> okay. So, is your see? I think Chris Tapps. Not sure about game. He's getting close though. Yeah. Not sure if he's going to play game one. But is your reason for picking that team from Northern Texas? Why can't you say them? No? Well, hold up. Let's back up. Why can't you say their name? I, I hate that. I I hate little teams. Little D, uh, you know, whatever. Well, you know, and here's why. Here's, here's the main reason why. I think Jason Kidd is going to coach circles. Yeah, see, okay. okay. There That's you go. Now, fun. see, okay. Now, you, you go with that, I, I, I'll ride with you. Yeah. I, yeah, I can ride with you on talk. that. Yes. Yeah. J Kid is better coach. I, yeah, I can ride with you on that one. Okay. Yeah. I pick, I, I'm not going to change from what I said to Nate earlier this morning, Monday morning on his show. I picked Boston in seven. Mm. Okay. I have concerns. Boston, they play too inconsistent. They hell, they take quarters off, <laughs> halves, <laughs> game two off, you know. <laughs> right. But if they and this they have to do it, it's easy for me to say if you know if they focus and lock in. Hell, their defense sucks, <laughs> you know, like, because sometimes against Indiana, I'm like, what are y'all doing defensively? What the hell are y'all doing? I mean, you're not guarding anybody. What, what are, you know, yep. if they don't do that, Boston will win the series. I don't have a lot of confidence in them doing that a lot. That's why I have it going seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Corey with a hypothetical, if Udoka was still in Boston, so, oh, probably five. Yeah. <laughs> five, yeah, yeah. five yeah. yeah. I was going to yeah. get to that too. They're, they're best <laughs> coaches down there with you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tim, Timothy said Boston in six. Jalen Brown is on a mission. How, see, this is what I'm looking forward to. <clears throat> Comments right here. I'm looking forward to how Boston will defend Luca in the pick and roll. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for, I'm, I'm look, really looking forward to how. Derek White and Drew Holiday, how they defend. What do they do against Luka and Kyrie? That's a chess match right there. But how will Boston defend the pick and roll? Because Minnesota, Chris Finch, their staff, I got tired. And no, this is credit to Jay Kidd and his staff and Luka, obviously. Luka is a hell of a player. Yep. No shade. Thought that for a long time. He's a bad, bad, bad man. 
But at some point, Minnesota has to, had to, and they never did, adjust and stop all those damn lobs, man. Wow. We talked about these shit. <laughs> Golly, yeah. Every time. Yeah. Gafford and Lively were just feasting, feasting on alley oop dunks. But again, credit to Luca and J Kid. If they're not going to stop it, they're not going to make adjustment. We're going to keep doing it. Hey, that's what you do. If an opponent doesn't figure it out, we're going to just keep doing it over and over. So everything, everything Luca was doing, mind you, Luca's hurt. He's, I mean, he's injured. For real, yes, for he's real. injured. Now, he has, another he has another thing I had off. problems with. Another issue I had problem with. Yeah. Go and out there, man. A week off to get somewhat right. He's not going to be right. Yeah. Well, he had a week to 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 treat to get treatment. Okay. Because I I I am curious. Al Horford and Pick Roll gonna get cooked. Go, I mean, just oh no, no doubt. Gonna get cooked. So what adjustments will Boston make? And, and I, I already said when it comes, you're doing the head coaching, you know, you're doing the position by position analysis. Go down to coaching, Dallas, check. <laughs> That's a big check. Yep. So we'll see. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. The time off. I understand what the scheduling for it, and why the league, you know, because you always try to prepare schedule for game sevens. So why they did it, but you know, if they could have started up on a Wednesday or a Tuesday or something, rather than Thursday. But I think it's going to be a hell of a series. Kyrie, what are your thoughts on the Reggie Miller, Stan Van Gundy, Kyrie, and Luca are the is the best offensive backcourt in the history of the NBA? Uh, I don't like breaking statements like that. Yeah, I, I don't. Um, I mean, because I'm quite sure somebody will say something like, "Well, in 19." 19- 71 Oscar Robertson and Bobby Dandridge. So I mean I'm I'm yeah. not yeah you know not, and I'm and what the uh, I mean Clay and Steph to bring it yeah, common day day yeah. modern day I mean yeah nah, I'm and, not, you know I'm not. and then they 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 kind of waffled a bit saying look we're not saying they're the best backcourt we're saying they're the best offensive backcourt oh, okay you um, know the hand, oh, all right so y'all Again, clear stuff. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, so, yeah. No, I'm not a big. I'm not big on that. Because we we fine tune. Okay, so what, so what are you asking for? What are, what are your criteria? On you know on and on. I mean, what Earl Monroe and and Walt Frazier. Walt Frazier, yeah, that that yeah. was boy. Yeah, so, <laughs> that, that's a hell of yeah. a backcourt right yeah. there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that was an offensive backcourt. Yeah. So, you know, Clyde with the steals and stuff, but. Earl coming there, they were like, well, how are they going to fit together? But didn't, you know, didn't he I, have like yeah. a 36.18 assist? Yeah, game seven. Game seven. <laughs> the Willis Reed game. Yeah. The Willis Reed game. We Willis played, what, two minutes? Two minutes, yeah. <laughs> Clyde yeah. had 36, 18, and seven, something like that. But it's the Willis Reed game. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So, because that's all I heard about for a long time, the Willis Reed game. Yeah. And then I read the box score and stuff. What, Walt Razor did, did what? <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but Luca, and we could talk about his frame. His body's breaking down on him. I think he's he probably wants to play in the Olympics. Well, he got to play in the competition. He has to. He has to qualify uh, for Olympics first because yeah. Giannis yeah. and I think six teams are in the final available stage for the to, to qualify for the Olympics. I mean, I'm sure the Mavs ownership, because the majority owners probably would prefer Luca not to. Oh. Mark Cuban for years has not wanted Luca to play over in international competition, but he still does. So we'll see on that one. Yeah. But Corey says Boston's going to have to blitz the ball screens while Horford is in the game. They got to do something because yeah, Luca, well, he's going to cook <laughs> at Horford, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. But you're going to give up. You're going to give up something because it's five on five. I've said it for years. I learned this, you know, from coaches and players and folks I've covered and watched over the years. A well-run pick and roll 
you got the right personnel, you can't stop it. Because you got to give up something. Because if I set the screen right, my man is behind me. So if he's behind me, he's done. Yep. I'm never going to let him get in front of me again. That's what Luca does. Luca keeps his dude on his hip, on, on his, his butt. Yep. He's out to play. <laughs> he's done. Yep. And that's one thing Minnesota, they never adjusted. Rudy just kept backing up, <laughs> backing up. Luca's like, well, I did get closer and closer. And Rudy's like, oh, <laughs> let me get close. At that time, lob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too late then. Yep. So you got to double him and then rotate and be quick about it to get to the open shooters or decide what you, who you're going to leave open. And then we'll see what they do about that, you know, and Timothy about this. And defensively, Kyrie and Luca are not great. They've, oh. gotten, they've gotten better for them. <laughs> for them, they've gotten better. Right. But they're, they're, you know, they're not where elite defen defensively no. so that's something as well i'm curious to see what boston will do and who will jay kid put luca on when the mavs are on defense to rest to not exert himself because you know as long as jay mcdaniel is standing in the corner <laughs> for minnesota right luca's just like well i'm gonna stand out right here straddle the free throw line so i don't get the defense three seconds, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna rest here and there and just do a little cha cha, you know. Right, right, so, right. so the Mavs, as long as Luca doesn't have to guard anybody on defense, that's a win for them. So it's on Coach Missoula to make Luca move, make Luca have to guard someone. Right, right. We shall see. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. You said, you said Mavs in five. I did. You gonna stick with that? Yeah. All right. Thrillo, I think Thrillo said Mavs in six. Yeah, Thrillo said Mavs in six. Timothy, what Timothy, you said what? What do you say? I think you made a prediction. Timothy said Boston in six. I got Boston in seven. I'm trying to be objective about it. And seriously, I I, I respect the Mavs. Unlike the Cowgirls. I, you know, I can't stand the Cowgirls for nothing on this earth. <clears throat> But I respect the Dallas Mavericks. And but when it comes down between a Houston team, Dallas team, I just can't pick a Dallas team. <laughs> I, I just Houstonian in me, I just won't do it. I, I, I just won't. Fair enough. But would I be shocked if the Mavs won? I won't. 